Welcome to SAG InfoTech. In this video tutorial, I will explain you what is ITC register and why a person should prepare it. Input credit register is a register for maintaining input tax credit available to a registered person on purchase of goods or services. Credit available to a person is subject to reversal as per CGST rules on account of credit being ineligible under the section 17.5, credit availed can be of non-business purpose, exempted or nil rated. Therefore, it is important for a person to show and maintain net credit available for a tax period after taking into consideration all these aspects so that correct analysis of credit can be made for recording, availing and audit purposes. So first we'll go to ledgers, click on input credit ledger button, select the month, the client, go to ITC available button. A person not preparing GSTR2 can also prepare this register from GSTR 2A or GSTR 2 Excel. So first of all we'll click on import export and we'll import the GSTR 2A. Enter the CAPTCHA, click on PROCESS. Please wait for a while. It takes around 5 to 10 seconds to complete this process. Here you can see the processing. The, the invoices are imported on a temporary mode. Now to take them into the software we have to select the option and click on import. The import is done. Now, a compare pop-up window will be displayed where you have to select 2A data not found and then after selecting all, you have to click on import in GSTR2 button. The import is successfully done for all the records. Now, two radio buttons are there. First is of purchase and another is of payment wherein purchase tab is similar to GSTR2 where you have to set the eligibility. When you will click on set eligibility here you will see there is no record. Now we will go to this tab and the eligibility is blank. So that means first we have to go to pending eligibility to complete the process. We'll select following invoices. We'll select ITC eligibility from the drop down that is input services, capital goods, or inputs. We'll do the ITC set off exclusive for business, non business purpose, ineligible, exempted, common ITC balance. And then we'll click on save. The ITC eligibility is saved successfully. Now here you can see following invoices eligibility is set. By this process your purchase credit register where net credit available after reversal as per rules will be calculated. Next radio button is of payment. This is for marking payment against purchase invoices. As per rules 37.2 if payment is not made within 180 days from invoice date, credit avail need to be reversed in subsequent period. Purchase invoices will be shown from where you can select multiple invoices and you can mark payment date as invoice date or you can say payment date as manually. 
like this and you can set the payment date for multiple invoices also then click on save full, full payment button click on payment detail here you will see the payment detail if you wish to delete it you can just click on delete button now click on exit here the data which we have imported from GSTR 2A in that the service import data and goods import data is not imported so if you have any entries for these two tabs you have to do it manually by clicking on add button like this you will fill the details and you will click on save other than this if you want to do any missing entry in B2B and credit debit note tab you just have to go to that tab and click on add and fill the entry and click on save thank you